सो ही गाइज वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम बेसिक सी एस वी फाइल ऑपरेशन यूजिंग फाइल हैंडलिंग इन पाइथन सो फॉर दैट फर्स्टली वी विल ओपन आवर वी एस कोड एंड देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू जस्ट सिंपली क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल लाइक वी आर डूइंग रीड ऑपरेशन नाउ जस्ट अ सेकेंड क्लिक यूर एंड देन क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल Since I am doing read operation, so I will be creating read dot py. So, but before that, I will be needing a CSV file. So for that, I will be going in my browser and search for trial CSV files. Just a second. Trial CSV files. Okay, so you can download just this one. I will be going with customers and then download and then you can download any of these files. I will be going with the first one, which has like hundred hundred uh, contacts. I will be save with this as the name of data dot csv and placing in a correct folder. Since all. I was using this folder for my Python file, so I will be uh, like loading this particular CSV file in the same folder to make the work easier. Okay, let's move now VS Code again. So now you can see this. This is the CSV file that contains like hundred uh, hundred people's data. Okay, so now what you have to do is. Just simply go in your read dot py again, and now we will uh, type our basic program for this. We will import CSV, and then what you have to do is you have to open this file with yes this one. I will be opening this file in R mode that is read mode only. Now what you have to do is just simply create a reader which will uh, Read your entire file, and then this will print row by row. Okay, let's run this program. This will take some seconds. Yes, you can see this. Your data is printed in this format. If you want to like uh, access a particular column of every of every you can say every row, access a particular column of every row, then what you have to do is Just simply, you have to make a basic change here. You have to uh, use this as a dictionary for now. Okay, then what you have to do is you have to change the mode here. That is, dict reader. This will be dict reader, and then you have to uh, like access the email of everyone. Then what will you do is just simply go here and check for like. Okay, for email, this is the spelling of this. Make sure this must be correct, and then paste it here. Then save your program. That's it. Run Python file. You can see the, you can see all the emails now. Similarly, if you want to uh, print like print f, and then quotations. Name is okay. You will be uh, printing like this something. You have to firstly access the name. For that, you will be having this, this column. First name, okay. And then paste it here. You can type it like name is, and then this, and email is, and then this. Just paste paste it here, and then this one too. Now simply run this program. 
then Python file you can see this name is this one and email is this one so this is the basic read operation you can do via CSV files so yeah guys that's all for this video uh, now let's see you next time